All right, now we're gonna start with the diagram instructions for the Magic Coaster. This is going, it's kind of tricky to, to explain, but this little square is five similar, five five inch squares of fabric uh, arranged in a certain way to make this Magic Coaster. And I will show you that right now. If I, after I show it to you, you'll probably understand my diagram better. Here are our five squares. Four of them have been folded in half. Now that's gonna make them two layers thick. And this is where the protective part of the uh, coaster comes in. See, each one of, four of them, the four that are going to be my little squares, are folded. Remember what we learned about folding? That gives us a finished edge that won't um, ravel. And one of them you're going to uh, choose for the base. Oh, that like that one. Oh, they're both the same. Okay, this one is the base. Now remember, pretty sides go together and you are going to sew on the wrong side. So on this one, it's folded. So they're both pretty sides. So on this one, we're gonna pretend this is number one. This is fold number one. I'm gonna match it to my square. There you go. And the folded part goes to the middle. This is going to be number two. Here's the fold, it goes to the middle. Number one, I'm gonna lay number two on top of it. There you go. So number one is showing here. Number two is showing here. And on number three, we're gonna put number three on top of number two, and number three is showing here. Now it's time for number four. The fold goes to the middle. There's number four, but wait, we've covered up number one. So holding these down, we're going to lift up that part of number one and bring it back over. And you can kind of see they all kind of lock each other down and you'll use a pen to anchor. And this is where the realization that you are now, this is why it will take you a, a, a long time to sew these four edges. You are dealing with five layers of fabric. This is what quilters deal with when they are sewing lots of things together. And uh, there's one, two, because that's the top fold one, two, because that's the underneath fold, and then one for the base. So there's five layers there. And that's going to explain why it's uh, important that you sew slowly, put your stitches as close together as you can, um, make sure you knot at each corner so that nothing, and, and while you're working, make sure there's no loose loops. You might have to check the back side um, and I will tell you, to get started, I do have a knot. When I get started, I had to check over and over to make sure that all my folds were lined up. There we go. I got started on my corner. Now yours, hello, I pulled too hard. Yours are marked for you. And there you go. And if you have to go stitch by stitch to make sure that it's good and smooth and that you're staying on a straight seam, there you go, there. And, and you wanna make sure your thread is smooth, the stitches are close and tight. And then when you get finished, make sure when, I, when you get to this end, you're going to knot your thread. And you might have to change your thread two or three times. The color doesn't matter on this because it's going to disappear. And remember when you're finished, you're gonna fold it from the center. That's where all those little folds happen. Remember when we folded this? There we go. Now this also is a great craft to do on the sewing machine because those stitches are teeny, teeny, tiny and you can make them quickly and tightly. Uh, I would encourage you to, uh, you notice I used all autumn browns and golds. This one was done on the sewing machine. 
See how nice and tight that is? And I snipped my corners before I turned it and it was overlapped. And the funny thing is it's gonna look the same, but here we go. From the center where it's all just meeting together, we're going to turn it, turn it, turn it one by one. And then when they're all turned, pull your corners out. Hope I'm staying in focus here. There we go. I encourage you to find some uh, scraps of fabric. And it, if you can tell here, it was one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Little five inch squares and five of them for each one. And the diagram that I drew you, it has lots of writing on it, but it, it shows you how to lay out number one, number two, number three, number four, and then you tuck number four up under number one. And you sew your edges, you trim off your corners, and you turn it out by pulling the, pulling the uh, backside through the center here. And this is Miss Jan for Kids Sewing. Hope you have a great Thanksgiving.